Sometimes you have to work with what you have at hand until you get to a point where you have the best of twos. This is my journey, my story. When I recorded conversation with my girls, I was at a very low point in my life. I was heavy pregnant from my ex- ex-husband. Um, I was unemployed, didn't have a vehicle because that went with him. Living with my mom, with my kids, you know, I could have cared less about my appearance, hair all over my head, you know, not a stitch of eyebrow on my face. <laughs> but I recorded that song in the back room, the back bathroom of my mom's house. I stapled some sheets and blankets to the wall to absorb some of the reverb. I made a microphone um, shield out of a pillow and a music stand. I still had my computer with some music software on it, but that's why I did it. That headset, the old Beats headset, you know, that's been since that's since been buried. <laughs> that's the TV out of my room. I did what I had to do. And the song came out great. It came out excellent. You know, kudos to Christian Simeon because that was a fire-ass song. Track, lyrics, mel- melody, all that was awesome. For the next chapter of recording, I was in my own place, so I I turned my closet into a recording booth, Um, used the clothes to kind of absorb some of the reverb. That's the same old microphone shield to absorb from some of the corner reflection. I upgraded and gotten a laptop. That's my laptop right there. Um, Upgraded the software I was using. Still had the same Beats headset. That's my trusty Tascam that's been with me for for I don't know how many years. (laughs) That's my creativity stone right there, you know what I'm saying? And so I recorded, um, I did the feature on Dog Boxes Merry Christmas here. I recorded, like it or not, um, Storms Are Coming, the the S6X project, the Prince Tribute project, and several other songs that haven't been released just yet okay so this the next chapter okay I'm in my new place my present place okay it's a much bigger space um, what I end up doing um, is using my youngest daughter's crawling mat that she wasn't using anymore okay um, as a, a shield I have the top shelf of a utility <laughs> utility shelf that I wasn't using either <laughs> I have the poles from my light, my lighting kit, or my green screen kit, as the stands, and I draped a um, moving blanket over the top of all of that to kind of deflect, you know, sound up from above. I have a um, mattress and some boxes boxes behind me to stop the reflection behind me, and um, I bought a new microphone shield. A brand new set of a headset, some Sony headset, a Sony headset, and a new pop filter as well. <laughs> moving on up, moving on up, baby. <laughs> but that's what I used to record um, my EP. Okay, you know it was a, a little bit claustrophobic, you know, a tad bit on the ratchet side. But there is nothing wrong with a little bit of ratchet. You feel me? <laughs> But that's it, y'all. You know, next on the agenda is to build a portable body size um, shield. That's what I'm doing next. You know, in this last scene, I'm just testing to make sure what I put up is making a difference as far as the the sound goes, the echo, the reflection, that kind of thing. But y'all be safe. Be loving. I am the self-proclaimed Studio MacGyver. I will make it do what it do, baby, with what I have at hand. Um, Love y'all. And that's it. Bye.